are more people moving in or out of Colorado currently? Is Denver one of the fifth most expensive cities to live in in the United States? And are we finally starting to see a slowdown in this crazy real estate market here in the Denver metro area? All of that ahead and so much more. Let's jump right into this market report for the month of May 2022. Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time stumbling across my channel. My name is Chad Johners and I'm your Denver Modern Agent and today, like I said, we're just going to jump right into some market statistics and get things rolling for you guys. First off, we're jumping into active listings at month's end. We were at 3,204 active listings, which is up 44% from the prior month. So that's awesome to see some more inventory come to the market, helping alleviate a little bit of that stress and pressure that we've been having with the artificially low interest rates. Now that's actually up 23% year over year, which is also an awesome statistic to see. We're just slowly seeing some more inventory come to market. Now closed homes was 4,912 closed homes, which is actually up 2.9% from the prior month. And then we're down 11.9% year over year. So Close homes is kind of ticking back up as we head into the summer uh, months, but year over year, we're still seeing that honestly, we're not closing as many homes uh, as we were in the middle of the pandemic. Now your average close price for both attached and detached homes was $726,988, which just is a massive, massive number, especially for the Denver Metro area. That is up 3.4% month over month and is up 19% year over year. And now your median close price was $624,950. Now that is actually up 3.6% and it's up 19% year over year. So median prices are still ticking up. Average prices are still going up despite the interest rate hikes that we were kind of seeing in the months of April when people were anticipating the Fed rate hike here in May. Now your average days in the MLS for the month of April was only eight days. That is down nearly 28% month over month and down 38% year over year just mind-blowing homes were moving super super quick uh, during that during that month of april all right those important statistics that i keep touching on these last couple videos the median home price for both detached and attached homes stay underneath that price it's going to be a very sound investment for you in the long run especially if you plan on being here for a very long time or you know three three years minimum is kind of what i what i say so that was $684,500 for your detached single family homes, which is up 3.7% month over month. And it's also up 17.5% year over year, uh, roughly. So if you can stay underneath that number, you're gonna be in a really good spot. Now for your detached, oh, excuse me, for your attached homes, you are gonna be at 440,000 for your median close price, which is up 4.2% month over month. And it's actually up 17.3% year over year. The median home price keeps trending up, but I think during the month of May, we're gonna see a little bit of shift. Um, I've just been noticing a, a massive swing in the market, and we're gonna jump into that with some local stats and some headlines here right now. All right, on to the local and national news. We're gonna talk about a couple things. I hinted at it earlier in the video. Denver is now the fifth most expensive city in the United States to live in, right behind San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Miami. I know, believe it or not, Denver is up there your guess is as good as mine, but I know why it's up there. I freaking love this place. But at the same time, it's just, it, it's not the same industry as a lot of those other areas. So you can definitely understand the frustration around it being as expensive as it is. Um, but I mean, that's because we've had an influx of people, especially from California, moving to Denver. There's a really, really cool tool that I will put down in the description that kind of shows you where people are moving from and moving to, uh, depending on the state that you're in or, or the city or the county. It's really cool how dialed in it can be. Now, Colorado specifically actually has more people moving out of it than moving in, believe it or not, despite that last fact. Yeah, we have a lot, we have an influx of people leaving Colorado um, because they just might be seeking more affordable 
housing somewhere else or they want to get more bang for their buck. So they're leaving the area, um, going going to other states. And like I said, that tool I'm mentioning, you can see where they're headed to too. It's it's pretty sweet. Now, first time home buyers that are faced with increasingly high you know, home prices, they're having to get creative with how they're purchasing their homes and what they're gonna do with them. A lot of them are getting into um, homes that allow them to have ADUs or they can house hack them. Now, if you don't know what those are, reach out to me. I'm happy to explain it to you. Um, see if it's a good fit for you. I can connect you honestly with one of the best in the Denver area that does this specifically. Not me, but I do understand how it works uh, and can explain it in layman's terms. So reach out, contact information is down below and popping up on screen. Uh, but let's just get to the national headlines now. Pending home sales index is actually fell 1.2% uh, in March which is a good sign for us, uh, especially as we move into the summer months. It means we're just, we're not seeing as many contracts on homes um, and homes going uh, pending for, you know, for sale, uh, which is a great thing. It is because we need a little bit of pressure relieved on this crazy market that we've been experiencing. Now, that implies that there's just not as many multiple offers on homes, uh, which is which is a good thing. I mean, it's gonna slow down the market a little bit. Listings are gonna sit for a little bit longer. And I'll tell you right now, beginning of May, I've definitely noticed that, you know, towards the, the end of April into May, things just kind of put on the brakes because of the Fed hiking the interest rates, you know, by 50 basis points. And people were, you know, already posturing for that. You already saw interest rates kind of start to rise um, in advance of that even happening, just to kind of uh, be on top of it and out in front of it. But I think people will realize, you know, five, five and a half, six percent interest rates really are not that bad, uh, and they're still going to want to start, you know, purchasing homes. You're going to see an influx of buyers come back into the market uh, because things have just been sitting for so long, and, and sellers are going to start getting anxious uh, because they're going to go under contract on their, you know, dream home, and they're going to need to sell their home. And I think you're going to start seeing some deals actually happen. Um, so buyers maybe hopefully be able to negotiate. I know, kind of a crazy thought to think about, but. That's just where we're headed. Finally, things are just letting up a little bit. And there's a lot of opportunity. If you're not out shopping right now and you were shopping in the past and the interest rates might've freaked you out, I would encourage you go and talk again with a lender and you would be surprised how much opportunity there actually is in the market. Um, with homes that have been sitting for you know, seven to 10 days. I know that doesn't seem like very long, but it is very, it's a very long time in a market like this. Um, and you're seeing some listings even sit, you know, longer than 30, 40, 50 days. Um, it's it's really good to see that, uh, but at the same time, you know, sellers are, are still thinking that they can get the world and more. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, please leave a like for me. Um, comment down below what you're seeing specifically, anything that you're struggling with in this real estate market. Um, or maybe you need to be connected with someone in your own local markets. Like I said, I, I can help you with any market all over the country and in 20 plus countries, believe it or not. All you have to do is reach out and I'll see if I'll be able to help you. It's pretty freaking cool. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll catch y'all in the next video.